Alright, so here today I'm going to make uh, water soluble calcium phosphate out of eggshells, apple cider vinegar, and uh, fire. So I'm going to crush these and then put them in here and then put them in the on the barbecue for like 45 minutes or so till they get brown and then put them in a jar and add like three inches of eggshells, crushed burned eggshells on the bottom of the jar and then fill up with this. Alright, let's do it. So I got these eggs from a local restaurant that sources all their ingredients locally. Um, they try to get like mostly organic stuff and so these chickens were cared for and now the eggs are going to be cared for and then this apple cider vinegar is raw it still has the mother in it organic What I got here is uh, eggshells that have been burned and um, on this side I have some vinegar, apple cider vinegar and what I'm going to do is, or the reason why I burned it is because the eggs, the eggshells themselves are calcium and the burning part is the phosphorus. So it's going to be calphos, calphos, um, calcium phosphorus. So the eggshells are the calcium and the phosphorus is the burn part of it. And then the easiest way to extract the calphos from the eggshells and the burned part of it is to use vinegar. So we're going to use this bucket as the fermentation vessel and then the apple cider vinegar as the like extraction and the burned eggshells. All right, here it goes. So what we'll notice here is that the um, extraction process begins to happen really quick. So it'll start to bubble and foam up a little bit. And um, yeah, the, the fermentation process here is done like aerobically. So I'm just going to put like a paper towel over this. And then um, when it's done bubbling in about 10 days or so is when we can strain it and then we have water soluble calcium phosphate
Cool, and that'll enhance the ripening. The it'll promote more flower, more uh, fruiting sites, and will promote uh, stronger, healthier fruits with more flavor. Cool, I'm excited to use it. This was started on June 11th, and then uh, today is June 27th, so I'm going to strain it today, which means that it uh, fermented or extracted for about 16 days. Um, normally, they say that it should take about 10 days or so, but this one took a little bit longer, and basically, when I tap it like this, um, I'm just looking to see if like bubbles pop up. Um, like if it's letting off more carbon dioxide like through the extraction it'll be like bubbling like fermenting so uh, when it's done bubbling especially like when you hit it and it doesn't bubble then you know that it's totally done extracting and it's ready to ready to strain and then get 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 used which will take um, it'll be used at dilutions of one to a thousand any anywhere between one to five hundred and one to a thousand and it's used for like um, the changeover period of the of the plant's growth. Um, it enhances ripening and um, um, healthy like reproductive sites. And like uh, so, so you would apply this like as you start to see the plant um, flowering. Like just before the flowers come on, if you like apply this at one to a thousand or one to five hundred, then it'll be giving it uh, basically like similar to like when the when the mother is pregnant, she like craves stuff that's um, sour or um, like kind of like sweet and sour type taste. So um, this this has like a sweet and sour type taste, and uh, it's good for like the like production of bones and like. Um, because calcium, like bones are made from calcium, so it supports like bone production, and um, which is good for like us humans or our animals, or as well as our plants. They don't quite have bones, but they have like other things that are like similar. So this will help that, like kind of like keep keep the plant strong. So I'm gonna strain this real quick, and then um, then get to it.
Okay, cool. Then the, with the rest of this uh, eggshells, what I'm gonna do is, um, since it's like already in this bucket, well, actually, um, I'll just take a. What I normally do is I, um, I, I like. I, so, for this, uh, for all the extra stuff left over in the, um, in the bottom of the bucket, all the burned eggshells, like a little bit of calcium left over. Um, what I'll do is, I before I compost anything, I like to ferment it to like promote what's already on it and uh, like it like pickles so that then once I put it in the actual like compost outside, it'll um, it'll go way quicker. So what I'll do with this is I'll put it in a bokashi bucket. Basically, it's the lactic acid bacteria serum. Um, we'll eat this and pickle it. And then um, once I put it out in the out in the compost, it'll be like it'll be ready to go like really quick. So cool. Cool. So here's one of the Bokashi buckets. Um, so this is totally sealed. And then I just instead of actually like going through the work of making actual Bokashi bran and culturing the lactic acid bacteria onto like either mill run or uh, spent beer grain.